Alsop Slam Sanctuary Cars and Coffee event today and it's the heavens have opened so I'm pretty pissed off but a few cars have turned up already uh, I reckon a few people will turn up the weather forecast is saying it will be dry in maybe an hour or so so fingers crossed but yeah we are under the gazebo waiting for cars to arrive please come weather man it's not like Portugal then no <laughs> I don't even know why I got out of bed we've got a few cool cars here already a few local boys have turned up uh, Lee's even come all the way up from uh, Bournemouth in his 65 CSI which is pretty cool and yeah hoping more people turn up throughout the morning so stick with us we'll go around some of the cars in a bit and show you what's here Caffeine fix. We've got the guys from Feed Me Up come down. They're doing our coffee and some pretty nice looking little breakfast rolls. So, yeah. How's it going, man? It's going really good. Thanks, Thanks. for coming down. Yeah, thank you. Woo. I'm on camera. You are now. Okay, hi. I'm Alex from Feed Me Up and we do coffees and food and everything. And uh, thanks um, for having us here today. Amazing. Cheers. Over and out. You've done YouTube before. <laughs> You've done that before? No. <laughs> Never. <laughs> YouTube virgin right here. There we go. Should we take a little look around what's what's turned up? Let's go for it. Really like this BMW M2. Just recently wrapped and it's also on a set of super cool BBS RS2s. A guy called Chromatic Automotive on Instagram. The guy's actually travelled all the way up from Dorset today. So he's had a bit of a trip today to get up here, which I appreciate. Back to our Slam Sanctuary roots back down in Bournemouth. So he's uh, come up to show his support. Yeah, really cool car. He built it, he's the owner. Oh, uh, okay then. <laughs> so has this car just been wrapped? Yeah, yeah, um, Oracle. What, do you know what colour it is? Oh, well that's Some a secret, concert. you see. That's oh, you don't need to tell, you don't need to tell. <laughs> so and all of a sudden then there'll be loads of great cars around. <laughs> and airlift performance? Uh, yeah, airlift trucks, um, my management jet. Uh, BBS RS2s. Correct. Pretty cool. Pretty, pretty finished. You don't normally see an M2 on RS2s, so that's that's pretty nice. I think there's only one other one I know of actually. Really? Does it? Does it card? Done anything else to it? We obviously we colour coded the brakes to the BBS caps, carbons, all from um, R44 performance. Very so cool. done the company. Very cool, man. Um, yeah, a few more things to come. Yeah. Can't sure leave it alone. Well, it looks good. Thanks for coming. Really yeah, appreciate it. Cheers, mate. And we'll see you soon. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, check out the break. Matchy, matchy. And then we saw this at Roll Hard, but we didn't get a chance to go around it. But now we can actually see it. And really, it. really cool. Yeah, maybe Cameron will want to have a little chat. Cameron, would you like to have a little chat about your car? I can do. Mr. Cam. This is Cameron. So tell us a bit about your car, man. What is it? <laughs> so it's a Toyota Corona. Um, a Mark II mm. Grande. Um, they're only ever sold in Japan, so we got uh, the Cressida. So it's the same body style, but the chassis is different. It's the engine's cool. different. All the trim's oh, different. Yeah. And without going into like loads of detail, what what are the basics you've done to on the car? Uh, so it came over lowered. Um, obviously, I've changed the wheels. Um, these are just the wheels I put on for show. I've hand engraved them. And yeah, the engraving is mad. We'll get a clip come over, but the engraving is so, so, so sick. It took me about six months. <laughs> so I'm yeah, there's a lot of pain. But, um, <laughs> I had to find a few bits for it. There were bits missing. Uh, I've got the clear uh, side repeaters. I had to source from Japan. What are the wheels? Uh, they're SSR Mark III's. Very so cool. They're, they're Japanese split rims from like the 70s, they? 80s. They're 14s. 14. So they're 14 by 11 on the rear. Four and a half inch lip, and I think they're nines on the front. They're really classy. Two and a half inch. Uh, what lowering? We lowered it's chopped springs. Chopped springs. So they Mate, chopped the no springs in with Japan. That. It wasn't me. Yeah, yeah. They chopped the springs in Japan, and they are the <laughs> softest springs imaginable. <laughs> they bouncy all over the place. It's horrendous. <laughs> 
People think I've got a low rider when I pull up. <laughs> Have you had to do anything else to it? Anything in the interior or anything like that? Um, there's a few interior bits. Like it's got a Japanese charm, the wood block charm. Uh, it also came with a sealed charm, uh, just stuck on the windscreen when it came. So you see the, the plastic one over there? Oh, okay. So they actually take that, that wooden on block and uh, they take it to a temple and they get it blessed and then they seal it up in that plastic bag for good luck. You can't well, open it out. It stayed in the car that whole Then the luck comes out. Yeah, no, it, they usually don't leave it on the car, but it was for the next owner to have good luck. So that's, that's pretty nuts. I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fair play, man. But yeah, thanks for showing us the car. No worries. So you come making a 10 minute journey down. So yeah, <laughs> we'll drive. see you that's the next one. So one of my best mates has come up from Bournemouth, another Slam Sanctuary OG, he's been with me since day one with a brand. Um, this car, some of you may remember, from a couple years ago, we built the car, our friends at Custom Colours did the paint and basically put the air on it, got the wheel fitment sorted, and we took this car to Webersea, I think 2019. Uh, the car's been off the road ever since, in, in Lee's garage. This is the first time I've seen the car in two years. He's got some fresh, uh, freshly built, stepped up, PBS RSs, but come, come. Lee's come down, well, up from Bournemouth. Dude, thanks for making the trip up. No it's worries. good to see you. Great weather as it's usual. It's good to so. finally see the car like two years <laughs> later, man. I know, I know. It's been... What's been going on with it? Oh, I think I just wanted to build uh, my own wheels. Obviously, Joey left me some wheels for Wervesey in 2018. And Is it, we yeah, it used to have a, a set of 18 RSs on Well, they were steps 17 yeah, to 18. 17 to 18. And now and what have I, you done now? I built they... my own, so they were, they're 16 to 18. 16 uh, to 18. Gold bolts uh, and yeah, 10 on the front and 11, 11 and a half on the rear. And that's all from SR Hardware, right? SR Jazz. Hardware, yeah, yeah. So Jack oh, really? sorted me out the, the lips and barrels. So obviously uh, a little bit nuts. But yeah, fits uh, fitted. So that's, that's the look I wanted to go for. Actually, uh, I say had a flush. Um, arch the lip. So yeah, yeah. arch the lip. So that lip, they sit really perfect. nicely. And it I think it, it's quite period correct. Obviously, having 16s on a on a, on a 987 car, and I think it's just sort of brought up to date with stepping them up to 18. So that, that's kind of the reason behind it. So I hear this could possibly be its last event, or maybe a couple more, and then maybe yeah, maybe get a couple more. So I've just uh, just brought a Porsche. So as everyone wants to step up to uh, to the next grade, I mean, I, I'm going to absolutely miss this car. It's been absolute labour of love and I've enjoyed every second of owning, owning it really but I think it's just time to let a new owner So if anyone wants so. uh, a pretty amazing looking 65 CSI hit up Lee in the DMs and yeah thanks for coming dude see you soon Let's go inside guys <laughs> Thank you Lee Let's ask the public how's the weather today because that's a very English thing to do Talk about the weather. It's so lovely. Oh, there we go. Yeah, lovely day. No, this what is summer day. for lovely you guys. Day. Yeah, what a day. <laughs> what a day. <laughs> well, you guys are like the hardcore car car people. Coming out in the rain. Yeah. Enjoying it. I see. Yeah. Look at his hair. If you live in Britain and you're waiting for a dry day to bring your car out, you're wasting your time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Undercoat it. Bring it out. <laughs> Simple as that. Oh, the, the rain has let up a bit. So you kind of know all the so all the cars here. So all the cars here have been accepted. They've all emailed to apply for the show. I know quite a few of them. A lot of them are friends of mine. A lot of them have just applied because they like the brand. They like the cars we're into. So we will talk to a few more friends. Let's grab Raj. Raj. Mr. Raj. Hello guys. Head honcho here at Car Audio Security. What do you think of the poor weather? Well, we can't control the weather. There's a lot of things we can control. We can control who comes. We can control the prices of our products. <laughs> we cannot control the weather, and unfortunately, it's just one of those things. Um, this summer, as you all know, you can't plan anything. You can't plan a barbecue. You know, the day before, the BBC weather app says it's going to be clean. It's not going to be raining. We were checking it's going to be warm. And, it and then changing. Like, what? what happened? <laughs> so, look, it is what it is. We knew this was going to happen at some event anyway. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's happened at the Slam Sanctuary event, but I'm sure we'll do another Slam event at some point. But well, we still got some cool yeah. cars here, so I'm pretty happy. Get some nice content out of the day. But yeah, thanks for uh, hosting. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> You're in a t-shirt. It's like it's summer for you though, isn't it? Yeah, look. 
obviously slamsanctuary.com uh, check it out don't forget to upload you know, <laughs> links down below all of that stuff Henry Henry, Henry where's your slam I've not even got it uh, I think we need a slam t-shirt what oh my god just get a sticker slam sticker coming soon this is a sample <laughs> Another shark, uh, really nice in teal. Super odd colour, but I love it, man. This belongs to a mate of mine called Ben. Again, another situation where the car's been parked up for about a year, a year and a half. Um, so nice to see it out. Let's go chat. Ben, good to see you, man. Thanks for making the journey out in Thanks the for having me. weather. Yeah, yeah. We're uh, here. Tell us a bit about this thing. It's been off the road for, for quite a while, right? Yeah, it's been in hibernation, but she's back out. What I want to know is, this has got an engine swap, right? Yes, it does indeed. What's in it? Uh, it's M50 2.5 with a full smooth bay. So, do you want me to give you a peek? Yeah, if yeah, you don't mind. Uh, that's been normal. I'll always remember, we went to Fitted in Manchester one year, and he drove, he'd just done the engine swap, done the smooth bay, and he decided to drive to Manchester with no bonnet on. To Manchester. <laughs> And it pissed it down on the way home. <laughs> so you're trying to go Mad Max style. Yeah, he's, he's insane. He, ben actually drives this thing hard. But yeah, check out the engine. So it's an M50 swap. Ooh. Like a glove. Auckland headers. So, so tell me, why did you go for this engine in, in an E21? What's the benefits of it? Um, I don't think there's any real benefits. Practicality, yeah, I wanted something injection, something a bit newer so I could sit on motorways comfortably. It's a bit more going reliable to, as well, isn't it? Yeah, going to shows and everything else. And I mean, yeah, you know what work. you're doing anyway. He works for BMW, so. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so yeah. how, long, how long did that take to, to dump in? Uh, not too long. Um, it was sort of only obviously doing it at weekends and stuff, so. Um, probably a year or so. It was more obviously all the paintwork, smoothing the bay. Who did all the paint and car? Uh, so it's a good friend of mine, Stella Paintworks. Mm -hmm. um, he does everything for me. And then, it's a nice job there, dude. Yeah, but, it's a yeah, labour of love. Yeah, it's Massive nice thing. to see it back out because it's. I know it's been parked up for a year. So. Yeah, yeah. yeah, really nice. And you're still driving the car hard. Like, yeah, shoot. still. Yeah, he's a man. Still breaking uh, drive shafts and like most classic dish. cars like this, you don't see people hooning them. He does, which is. Yeah. Well, I suppose you can because the engine. It, it yeah. allows you to do that. Yeah, you know, you're, you're, enjoy it. you're still going to break discs and stuff like that, yeah. but whatever. It is what it is. It's a fun little car. But yeah, dude. Thanks a lot for coming. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you for see having us. Thank yeah. you. All. I'm not presentable, I'm growing out my beard. That's alright, so am I. <laughs> that's all good, man. I've got my wedding next week. Oh, is it? Yeah, that's so. Okay. Are you going to bring this to uh, the wedding? Yeah, this will be the wedding car because oh, it's been anniversary since the smash on the day. Glad you brought it down, I appreciate yeah, it. No worries. I haven't seen it for I ages. Was asking for it long I've been asking to see his car for so long. Because it's just been had a full repaint and it's been off the road for quite a while. Uh, you just put the uh, what are the wheels, man? Racing uh, dynamic. Dynamic. RS2s. RS2s. So you just put those back on. He's got a set of Alpina soft lines as well, which he usually runs about in. But you switch them up today. So it's sick. Today and wedding. Seven forty. Yeah. Seven forty yeah. Sport. So this is like pinnacle of BMW E thirty eight. I think one of my favourites for sure. What's the colour? Super red colour too. More metallic. One of four, uh, fifteen. One of fifteen. Ever made, yeah. And the interior is pretty cool. Can we show you in the interior? Nice, sir. Uh, contrasting interior. You can see the purple, oh, wow. the purple uh, floor as well. That is nice. Sitting on airlift as usual. Can't go wrong. Yeah, really nice. Ooh. Those are some dish as well. Yeah, what, uh, what is this going to 11 and a half on the rear. Are they 20s? 20s, yeah. 20 20s. by 11 yeah. and a half on the rear. Ooh. And 10 and a half. 10 and a half, so staggered setup. Yeah, these wheels are, they actually are very rare. So, really nice to see them. Yeah, thanks for coming down. No worries, man. Thanks for having us. Stick around till about 12. Yeah, yeah. Hello guys! Hey guys! 
Hey guys. It's thank me. you all for coming. I know it's been a bit of a washout, so I really appreciate you guys. Oh, thank you for coming down. Uh, really nice cars here, nonetheless. Uh, we've got a few prizes. I know there aren't many cars here, but we're going to do it. So I've done a top five. All five winners will get a Slam Sanctuary goodie bag full of key rings, a t-shirt, all sorts of goodies in there. And the top three are receiving a McGuire's, this is one of their new bags actually, they're pretty cool, full of gear. Yeah. So yeah, fifth place goes to Lee and his 635 CSI. Uh, number four goes to Kerry's Mercedes Benz A45 AMG. Amazing car. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Third place, we have Ricky's E38 740i Sport over there. It's got some amazing racing dynamic. Nice E38. Second place goes to this right here Benz E21 M50 Sport as well. So check it out. First place has got to go to Cameron's Toyota Corona, right behind you there. Badass car, man. It's all the little touches. I don't know if you've all seen the links. I'll go check them out. He's hand engraved and everything. Yeah. Thanks a lot, man. And yeah, again, thank you very much for coming, everyone. Stick around if you want. We'll be here for the rest of the day, so feel free to stick around, and uh, we'll see you the next one. Thanks a lot. I think that's a wrap on the Slam Sanctuary Cars and Coffee event. Uh, the sun came through in the end, luckily. But yeah, a bit of a shame about the weather earlier on in the day. Just hoping for more cars, but I think considering we've done pretty well. Nice variation, giving some prizes away. We all picked up some Slam Sanctuary gear. There's one someone off now. But yeah, we'll catch you in the next one. We might do another event at the end of the year. Comment below if you'd like to see another one and you'd like to attend. And yeah, we'll go from there. Cheers, guys. See you later.